G'day, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to do the virtual tour on this 2017 Toyota Grande. Look a bit about us before I do so. So Pacific Toyota, we, we run two large pre-owned vehicle yards. This one being here at our main location at 251 Mulgrave Road. Across the road, we've got our lovely new vehicle showroom, our Lexus of Cairns showroom, and our service center just there with all the solar panels. Um, we hold anywhere up to sort of around that 180 to 200 cars in stock. Um, at the moment, I think we're sitting just over 200 vehicles and we just got awarded the largest pre-owned vehicle dealer in Queensland. So a little, little hooray for us. Um, so basically the virtual tour is designed just to go around the car in complete detail. I'm going to point out any marks on it. At the end of the day, it is a pre-owned vehicle and it has done kilometers on the road. So you're going to have the odd mark here or there. To be honest, from me going around the car, the car has been looked after immaculately. Um, but there's some things you just can't, um, I suppose, get away with, which is just a couple of chip marks on the front of the car. Just from, obviously, uh, rocks, you know, if you're behind that odd dump truck or, or truck just in general. Yeah, the odd rock that's just going to flick out. Um, but that's all I can sort of fold from that front section there. The chrome bar is all very well looked after. Um, very clean and tidy. This side was a little bit better. It only really had the one chip mark on this side, so it's only the, I suppose, half the front bumper that fell victim to the little chips. Um, coming across the front, like very minor stuff like that. Um, I, I can't really fault it, to be honest. Just coming around the lip here, because there's another little one just here. Um, very minor, very minor. A um, couple little just there. These marks there is coming off of my finger. It's a couple little ones just there. Um, that stuff's coming off of my finger there. You can wipe that. Um, that all came off. Just trying to see if there's anything else major on the bonnet, but to be honest, it's all very clean and tidy. Um, you usually even get a few more little scratches there, but nothing. Um, another little paint chip there, but all very minor. Uh, I'm just gonna come up from the headlight there to the base of the A-pillar. As you can see, all the lines very straight and tidy. Um, tread on the tyres, so you've got plenty of it, so you've got the little wear indicators just down there. So plenty of tread, so you're not going to be up for a set of tyres anytime soon. Um, no gutter rash on this front rim. Now they do run the big 19 inch rims on them, um, so obviously makes the car look quite, uh, quite appealing. Um, just going to follow the bodywork down to the back. Um, also got the side steps on it, so they're not very cheap, they sell new cars and they're about $1400 fitted from, from memory. Um, also there's a bit of mark there, but that came off with my finger, so it's always a positive when that happens. Um, just continuing down. Sorry, I just got to get a bit close. It's a, I've got that many cars in the yard, I can't really get in there. Yeah, there is a little bit of a, a uh, that's Reggie. Reggie's my colleague. He's, uh, he's moving cars around. I can see him in there. Look, we always like to have a joke around. Uh, we're all a big family, the team up here. Um, we got a little bit of a chip, uh, not a chip, a dent in the door, but very minor. Um, I can, oh, hang on, I've got my zoom wrong here, there we go. Um, there's a little bit of a dent there. Um, I can, however, we've got a guy that can get that out, um, so I can fix that, that's no worries. Um, just continuing down to the back tailgate, which does have a few more marks, um, which I'll get to. I just want to continue back and, and double over the rear tyres. So once again, plenty of tread, um, no gutter rash around the rim. All very clean and tidy. Um, I just want to get in the front seat here to sort of do the interior, which I've parked a bit close to this door, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak on through um, just to show you how well it's been looked after. It's all very clean and tidy through there. You know you're gonna get the odd mark here or there, but to be honest, this is pretty immaculate the vehicle. Um, as you can see, dash wise, um, it's always got the the rubber floor mats in there. Got the wood grain because it's the Grande. Um, floor mats through there. Uh, perforated leather seats. So um, the good thing about it, and the reason they're perforated is they do have air-conditioned seats. So you can keep uh, you can keep the uh, you know the, the lower legs and back warm in winter and cool in summer. So best of both worlds. Up in Cairns, we definitely need the cool one. Um, okay, just coming through here, once again doing the rear door cut. So I'm just trying to teeter, not hitting the car next to me. Um, the cool thing in the back is you get these little, um, like, sunshades. They go up there just like that, um, as you can see. Um, a little nifty thing to try to do. Um, so you get all that through there. Uh, back of the car, once again, back rubber floor mats. 
seats, all very well looked after. There's a little bit of a mark there. I'm not sure whether that will come off with the wipe. Happy to give it a whirl, but um, I, uh, I'm not too sure. I would have thought they would have been wiped through a detail. So I'll give it a whirl, so it might not come out. Um, but that's that there. All right, I'm gonna make it to the back. Okay, so we've got a tow bar fitted to it, seven pin flat plug. Um, the good thing about the Grande or GXL modeling up is the back window actually opens up. So you do this here. So if you're going away, you just level this out in here and then you can keep going. So very handy. Um, goes down to obviously a full boot. Once this is up, I'm just gonna put that back down. Or we'll pull them back up shortly. Um, so it gives you that's nice and handy. Now, once you shut that, you just hold this down here and it's electric. So very handy. So if you're dropping the kids off at school, you can press the button from the driver's side. This will open it up, they can get their bags out, you can shut it, you can stay in the driver's seat the whole time. Um, so this through here, so there's a couple of chips on here. Now this is obviously your main traffic area, so you slide the stuff in and out. Um, I can get them brush touched, crystal pearl brush touching, you know, it's a little bit harder, but we can get it done, just reseals them. Um, but look, you're going to get marks there either way. It is a high traffic area. There's a couple of marks throughout the boot. Our boots always tend to uh, have a few marks in them. Obviously, when you're doing long trips, you load them up and they, you know, a few things scuff on the sides. But uh, this one's pretty well. This is good. Uh, we usually get them a lot worse than that, so that's a, that's a positive. Um, you've got all your tools and that in here as well. Um, you've got a cargo blind. So that cargo blind actually goes into these grooves just here. Um, and then they'll come through and basically uh, blind all the cargo. Uh, so very cool. Um, with the boot, press that and uh, back down she goes. Very handy. Um, so Grande all drive. Um, so technically that's the top of tops for the Grande, uh, for the, sorry, for the Kluger. Um, just continuing around. It'd be good if my uh, bald head and shadow wasn't in the way. So I'm just gonna turn this way. You can see that glistening in the sun there. Very nice. Now, the other little thing is they um, up here, you get the chrome-like um, feature where normally that's just a painted silver. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to continue down the front. I'll make my way back and then do the interior from this side. Um, I, I can't really fault the exterior on the car. It's very well looked after. Um, the sunlight I'm in, I know the shade's kind of annoying. Um, I'll just try and do a close up of that there. Um, now, once again, plenty of tread on the tyres. There's no gutter ash. This is amazing, it's the first car in a long time. I've gone around a rim and there's no gutter ash. So uh, that's a positive. That's definitely a positive. Um, plenty of tread on the tyres there. Um, no gutter ash on the tyre, on the rim either. So. All very well looked after. Oh, there's me. G'day, I'm Hayden. Um, right, rear door card. I've got a bit more room on this side, so we can open the door right out. The sun's on it, so you can see absolutely every mark from the details. So that's good. You can see it in that condition. Um, headphones are in there as well for the DVD player on the roof. Um, you've also got the sunroof. Um, now, I can't see too many marks on the roof, you know. It's one thing when I went to pre-owned from new cars, it's amazing what you can find on a roof. Um, but this one has been immaculate. So, better view there. That's sort of that, I can't really see it as much, but I just want to show you that mark that's there. Um, I'm happy to get the guys to give it a whirl, but I, the car's been detailed, so I can't see that coming out. To be honest, my camera's making it work, look a lot worse. Um, so, just going to jump in the driver's side. Let's open the door a bit. Um, it's obviously been the driver's side. This is the main traffic area, so we tend to see a few more marks, but to be honest, this one's um, this one's pretty good. So, memory seats. So, um, you know, if you've got two main drivers of the car, you're not forever having to change it. Just press one or two, and there you go. All sorted. Now, you've got lumbar support. You've got the tilt as well. Um, this one, you can go back up, so the back of the seat goes up and down, and you can have the front of the seat go up and down. So. There's a few different ways there. Um, I think there's a 10 way movable seat, don't quote me on that. Um, push button start, you got the view button. Look, I'll jump in, I'll show you a few of the features. This car was actually our most equipped car um, that we used to sell brand new in Toyota, um, other than the Land Cruiser Sahara. So um, there's, there's a lot in them. 
has had everything that Toyota had to offer at the, at the time of being brand new. I've only been out of new cars for about a year, but um, I've just played around a little screen here. This is what you call a multi-information display. So you got your, uh, your compass, your radio, and you go across to your lane departure alerts on, um, back to messages, back to the start. In here, you've got what we call blind spot monitoring on. So on your little mirrors there, there's a little symbol there. That lights up orange when there's a car in your blind spot. You can see a little bit of cobwebs around the edge of that mirror so we can get that, uh, get that cleaned some uh, mortine around it stop the spiders um, PCS is the pre uh, pre collision safety control system so it's got a two-step pre collision safety control system so the first one is if a car stops um, in front of you um, abruptly but you still got enough time to brake it'll turn your radio off and say brake 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 um, if it goes okay I'm, the car will go if I need a brake now to stop it it'll actually see in the brakes on for you down to 40 k's an hour so by the time you get to 40 k's an hour you would have probably noticed that your car's braking and you would have already have your foot on the brakes um you've also got adaptive cruise control so with adaptive cruise you turn it on it says radar ready so you set your your speed standard so you get up to speed flick this down set it um once you get up to speed you can then adjust how far from the car in front you want to sit three bars is five seconds um, two bars is three and a half, and then you go down two seconds for one bar. So what will happen is you've got to set it 100, car in front of you is doing 90. As soon as you get down to, um, or within two or three and a half or five seconds of that car, the car will automatically brake and follow them at that speed. Once they get out of the way, you'll go back up to speed. So um, just means you're not forever adjusting it. Um, now you've got your full auto wipers, auto headlights in this car. Like I said, it's the top of the range. Um, satellite navigation, reversing camera, and not only that, um, you also get the bird's eye view. So you get this little predictor steer. Now the cool thing about this predictor steer is it also gets it for your front. So you can see how far your car is gonna pull out. Now, I'm just gonna zoom in a bit because um, I'm trying to use it as an example, but um, if you can see there, there's a, there's a pole. Um, that pole is just here for me. Um, so basically what it's telling me is if I continue on that angle, I'm, I'm in a collision path for the pole. So if I turn that, happy days I know I'm not gonna hit the pole and see how it's going away it means I'm in the safe zone so um, always good to be in the safe zone um, the other thing as well is once you're in drive um, you've actually got this view button here press that view comes on um, turn on parking that one's my parking sensors on as well turn it on and it gives you this really cool I don't know when you'd use this I'm, I suppose you would check if there's anything around the car like bikes before you take off but it just means you can get a full 360 of the car. Um, it does a zoom overhead as well. Um, but yeah, little nifty thing that Klugers do. Um, very handy. You got another one as well, so as if you're in the center of the car looking out. Once again, if you had the kids around and they got bikes or anyone around packaging, you can, um, yeah, you can check your surroundings. Um, so, little quirky thing they do. Uh, Tri-zone climate control, so the front driver, the front passenger, and the rear can all have different aircon temperatures. Um, so you got driver, passenger, rear, and you can actually um, uh, choose whether the rear can have theirs on or not. So you can turn it off on them. Um, you've also got down here USB, auxiliary, 12 watt power. You can pull this in and out. Um, so what will happen is, oh, just back my hand there. Um, you put your USB or auxiliary in here, or if you've got a USB that you can plug into here to power it, you can thread all your cables through. They go in this little groove, sit them in there, and then you have this whole shelf at your disposal for as many items as you like to judge. Um, center diff lock, so if you're doing a bit of gravel, downhill assist control, snow, I know that's a big thing in Queensland. Um, obviously I'm joking. Um, but uh, that's more if you've got mud and stuff like that. As you can see, there's a bit of a mark there that, that will come off. That just needs to be cleaned. Um, I'll just turn that out of snow mode. Um, AC seats, so three is the fastest it'll go for cold. Um, and then three is the fastest it'll go for warm. So you just slide it whichever way. Um, if you ever want to have fun with your passenger, just put on as hot as you can. See how long it takes me to realise. Um, but yeah, you got that there. Inside, you got the remote. You got so much storage in here. Um, make an example, you can see how far my arm's actually in there. Um, so it's quite a big dis distance. Um, look, service history on the vehicle. I know I'm rambling. I'm going to try and tie this up. I've been, I'm good at rambling. Um, so it was originally, I don't, know, I don't know who it was originally sold through. It's not in the front of the book. But I'm just going to get to the service history side of things. Oh, 
Here we go. Okay. So, it was serviced to Mackay. Now, I know this sounds scary, but they're actually a service centre in uh, in Murrumbah, which is in Mackay itself. It's not actually a coal field. This Kluger would not be in a coal field. 11,000 Ks. Mackay Toyota did it at 20. Uh, Mackay Toyota's done it at 30. Mackay Toyota's done it at 40. 49. 59. Uh, we've gone to Black Auto CQ Petrology Limited, which is Central Highlands in Emerald. Um, it's 70,000 Ks, and we have 77 on it. So I'd say we would have done one because we just haven't stamped the book because it says the next service is done at 87,000 Ks. So there's one in there that hasn't been stamped, but it's got full logbook service history, and only two of them are without um, or not with Toyota. So. Um, I've got two keys of the vehicle as well, so all very handy through there. Um, but look, that sort of concludes the virtual tour for today. Um, I'm just going to jump out give you one last look with the way I've got it set up. And uh, that concludes the virtual tour. I'm sorry it went for 16 minutes. I can ramble. Um, but uh, any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thank you.